Today's story is called The Vampire Cat. The Vampire Cat. Vampire. Okay. Uh, it's a Japanese story and it's about a, um, a man who was a samurai. Uh, the man who is a Japanese you know, samurai, the man who has a sword. It's about a Japanese man a long time ago um, who was a samurai. Okay. A long time ago in Japan, many, many years ago, gee, I don't know how many, let me, maybe 500, 600 years ago, I may be wrong, but there was a prince in Japan. Now, this prince, okay, Japanese prince. He was a Japanese prince. Okay? And his name was Nabeshima. Nabeshima. Now, this man, Prince Nabeshima, the prince, he's a prince. prince. Prince Nabeshima had a girlfriend. Prince Nabeshima had a girlfriend and let's see. Okay, it's a Japanese woman and her, <coughs> her name was Otoyo. Otoyo. Otoyo was her name. Well, Prince Nabeshima and Otoyo, one evening or one afternoon, they were in the castle garden. They were, let's see, they were in the castle garden. Okay? Well, they liked each other very much, and so they didn't want to say goodbye. Now the sun was going down, and it was getting dark. It was getting dark, and the moon was coming up, and they did not want to say goodbye to each other. So they just waited around and waited around and they did not want to part. They didn't want to say goodbye. So they lingered, lingered. They lingered and they didn't want to say goodbye. They waited and waited. But soon it was getting very dark and so they decided to go back to the castle, okay? Now, let's see, Japanese castle is not like this, but this, the castle, okay? And so, the, the um, uh, Prince Nabeshima and Otoyo were going home. Now, when they were going home, they didn't notice there was something, something was following, follow. Something was following them, that, but they did not know. And so he went back to his castle and she went back to her house and um, they said goodbye and they went home. Now, Otoyo, okay, her name is Otoyo. Otoyo went back to her room and it was getting late at night and so she went to bed. So Japanese people don't have a bed, you know, bed, uh, bedstead. We just put a uh, mattress on the floor, okay? And so the Otoyo was sleeping on a mattress, futon mattress, okay? And then about midnight, 
she opened her eyes. She felt somebody was there. She felt something strange, something fearful, something dreadful. Dreadful. Dreadful means frightening, something scary, something uh, something that makes you feel like, oh, what is it, you know? And so she felt some kind of dreadful thing, dreadful presence, presence. Something was present, something was there, some kind of spirit. I, we don't know what it is, but dreadful something was there, okay? So she opened her eyes and she gazed. Gaze. Gaze means she gazed around. She paid attention. She, uh, in, you know, she had the intention of looking. Uh, look at. Uh, she was. She had the intention, intention of finding out what it was. And so she concentrated and she paid attention and she looked. She gazed around. What is it? What is? What is there? Or who is there? Okay. At length. At length. At length means finally, at last. Finally, she looked and looked and oh, she found something. At length, she found something. This dreadful presence was. It was a it was a big cat. It was a big cat and this big cat was crouching. Remember? Crouch. The big cat was crouching. And it was a big cat. It was a gigantic cat. Gigantic. Gigantic means huge, big. It was a gigantic cat. It was crouching and it was ready to pounce on her. It was ready to jump on her. It was ready to come and attack her. And so Otoyo opened her mouth and she wanted to cry out she wanted to scream for assistance. She wanted to scream for help. But it was too late. The cat, bang, sprung upon her. Spring. Spring means jump, okay, pounce. The cat sprung upon her and choked her. Strangled her. Strangle. Mm. Can you see? Strangle. Strangle means choke. Choke. You know, choke. Ah! So the cat strangled her and killed her. After the cat killed Otoyo, um, the cat dragged, you know, dragging, dragged the woman. This is a, okay, this is a house. And, uh, see, in Japan, the house is like this. There is, you know, this is the ground floor, yeah, and there is some kind of stuff underneath here, the space underneath. And so the cat went under the, under the, uh, the, uh, uh, the house, dug a hole, get dig a hole, and buried her here, okay? So the cat buried her under the house, okay? Uh, the cat buried the dead body, okay? The woman's dead body, the woman's dead body, body. Dead body is called a corpse. Corpse. Okay. So the woman, 
uh, the cat buried the dead body, corpse, under the ground. And then the cat, meow, the cat, doom, changed into Otoyo. The cat had the form of the human Otoyo. And she, the cat lived here. The cat lived in this house. Now, uh, Prince Nabeshima didn't know anything about this, of course. And so, the next night, next evening or next afternoon, he saw her again because she was his favorite. And so, he saw her again and he, you know, he held her and he caressed her. Caress. Caress. Caress means you caress the baby's cheek, okay? Softly touching because you love the baby. Well, he loved her, so he caressed her, caress, softly touching. And he, you know, he, he loved her, okay. Now, the cat took the form of the, this woman, but he didn't know anything about this. He was unaware. He was unaware. He was not aware. He was not, he didn't know. He didn't know that this was really a cat, okay? The evil cat. Now, um, yeah, this was an evil cat. It was a, a beast. It's a, just, a, it's an animal. It's not a human being. It is a beast animal, okay? And it is a dirty animal. It's not a cute animal, it's a dirty animal, it's an evil animal, it's a foul. Foul means dirty, foul air, okay? A foul language, okay? When you speak good language, polite language, it's good language. But if you speak very vulgar, bad language, it's a foul language, so ba bad beast, okay? bad animal. So. The bad animal changed his form into the Otoyo's form, and then, but he didn't know. So he met her the night, next night, and he caressed her, and and uh, you know talked to her, and he smiled at smiled at, at her. Okay. Well, guess what? Every night he saw her, but gradually. He became sick. Gradually, his he his he became weak. He became weak. His strength failed. Strength failed. He is not strong anymore. And he became sick. He became not just regular regular sick. He became dangerously sick. He became dangerously sick, means he could die. You know, he could lose his life. He became dangerously sick. Many, many doctors came, many physicians came, and uh, the, you know, the people, uh, the, uh, the many famous physicians was were invited to come to the castle to uh, take a look at the sick man. Many physicians were summoned, you know, summoned means to call, to, to invite, summon. Yeah, and, and then many doctors came and gave him medicine, but he did not become good, well. He did not recover uh, from his illness. He could not uh, rest regain his strengths. He could not restore, rest restore his health. Well, he got weaker and weaker every night. And it seemed like he did not go to sleep very well. During the night, he had very bad dream had a very bad dream and he couldn't rest well he was very very sick and he got sicker and sicker 
every day. And so they thought maybe the people should go and watch him while he is asleep so that he will not be disturbed by anything. So this is what happened. This is his room, okay? This is his room, royal uh, sick room. And the, um, the prince, Naveshima, slept in the middle, middle of the room. And one, two, three, four, one hundred samurais, one hundred retainers. Retainers means soldiers or the, the servants, servant soldiers. One hundred retainers sat around the prince and they watched him so that the prince can go to sleep, sleep peacefully, can rest peacefully, rest, you know, can sleep well. Rest peacefully sounds like somebody is dead, so, uh, he, so that he could sleep well, okay, deep sleep, good sleep. So the 100 retainers watched the, the prince. Okay, so, uh, okay, but the thing was, these 100 retainers came here to watch the prince, but, um, but retainers, uh, everybody at 10 p.m., everybody became sleepy. For some reason, it seemed like there was a magic going on, and at 10 o'clock, everybody became very, very sleepy. Very, be they became very, very drowsy. Okay, drowsy. Um, and so, everybody went to sleep. Everybody went to sleep at 10, and didn't wake up until the next morning at 6 a.m. And then the prince was worse the next morning than the night before. And so every night the 100 retainers came to watch the prince, but every night everybody went to sleep at 10 p.m. and didn't wake up until 6 a.m., 6 o'clock in the morning. And so the, the prince became weaker and weaker and weaker. Well, they didn't know what to do. They thought soon the, the Prince Nabeshima will die. And they were very, very worried. And then one of the very, very low ranking, okay, low, low ranking soldier. He was a member of the infantry. Infantry. Infantry means it is the member. Infantry means it is the part of an army that fights on foot. And so there must be some soldiers who fight on horse, on a horse. But then these in, the soldiers in the infantry means they are the ones who fight on foot, so they walk and they have so they have a sword and they fight. Okay, but anyway, there was a man in the infantry. Okay, and this guy was a low-ranking soldier, and therefore he could not come here in the same room uh, uh, where the prince Nabeshima slept. He couldn't come because he was a low, low level uh, soldier. But his name, there was, a, he, there was a guy and his name was Ito Soda. Okay, this is Ito. This is a young boy, young man. Okay, he's, he's not, no, he's a young man. His name is Ito Soda. Ito Soda. He said, uh, uh, he said he wanted to, 
be in this room. He said he thinks there is something wrong with the way how Prince Nabeshima was getting sicker. He thought there must be some kind of an enchantment, some kind of magic was going on. He said, he said, I want to find out what is the cause, what is making him sick every night. And so he, he asked the, uh, you know, the uh, top ranking samurai people, they said, please let me come in. I'd like to find out. And so they said, okay, you can come in. So, one night, Ito Soda came in, and he was, you know, he's very low ranking, and so he was sitting here, and then there were a hundred, uh, re, re, a hundred people, a hundred retainers, soldiers, sitting there, okay? Now, sure enough, at 10 p.m., everybody began to sleep. And Ito Soda, his eyes were going, closing, closing. C gradually, he is becoming very sleepy too. And he thought, I can't go to sleep. I can't go to sleep. But his eyes were closing. And he thought, no, I am determined to stay awake. And so what he did was, can you see, he was sitting here like this. Okay, he was sitting here. Then he took out a oil paper. Oil paper. He took out a, a sheet of oil paper and he put the oil paper there under his, under, under his uh, legs and then he took out his duck. Duck. Duck is a knife. Short knife. So he took out his duck and, and what he did was he bang, he struck, he, he struck his duck, he struck his knife, strike, yes, yeah, struck, strike, struck. He struck means he hit. He 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 had a knife and he went. He struck his knife. Um, struck knife into his thigh. This is a this is a thigh. He struck his knife, Dirk, into his thigh, and then red blood came out. The red blood came out. And it hurt. It was a sharp pain. And oh, it's, it hurts. Sharp pain. And then he woke up because it was very painful. He woke up. And then he was awake, but then soon he became sleepy again. So what he did was he twisted. He turned the knife. He, okay, he turned the knife and then even harder, sharper pain uh, uh, he experienced. And then he woke up and he kept, you know, he kept twisting his leg, he's twisting his knife so that he will feel pain so that he won't go to sleep. Then soon the door opened and Moban came in, Otoyo came in, Otoyo came in and he, she looked around and he, she saw everybody was sleeping and then she smiled and then she came very close to the Prince Nabeshima. Prince Nabeshima was sleeping and she came here and she said, how are you doing? She said. And then she looked back and my God goodness, she noticed Ito Soda was watching her. 
Oh, she was surprised to see Ito Soda was watching her. She thought everybody was asleep, but he was awake and watching her. So she couldn't do anything. She was going to cast a spell so that he would become weaker and weaker and he would die. But she couldn't do anything. So she finally, oops, she finally left. She finally left. The next morning at 6 p.m., at uh, 6 a.m., everybody woke up and they were so ashamed. Oh, we went to sleep again. But Ito Soda didn't go to sleep. And so everybody said, Oh, wonderful. How wonderful you are. And what have you done to your thigh? You stuck, you struck the, your, your knife into your thigh so that you can stay, stay awake. That is amazing. Everybody praised him. Well, the next day, they said, Ito Soda, I want you to be there too, again. And so Ito Soda came here, and the same thing happened. At 10 p.m., 100 retainers all went to sleep. But Ito Soda was awake, and he had this knife, and he did not let him go to sleep. When he, when he became drowsy, he, oh, he struck his knife into his thigh, and if he became even sleep, if he became sleepy again, he twisted his knife so that he experienced sharper pain so that he could stay awake. Sure enough, the woman came in, and this time she looked back and she saw Ito Soda there. Uh, she did not like it. She came over here and she said to Prince Nabeshima, how are you? But then he could not say anything because he's, he is very, very sick. But then she also couldn't do anything, so she went back. Now, Prince Nabeshima, because this foul beast couldn't cast a spell on him, he slept very well. He slept very well for two nights. And then after this, Otoyo, the, uh, the, the fake Otoyo, never came back to this uh, bedroom. And so nobody went back, went to sleep at 10 p.m. and everybody could watch him. And so he slept very well, and he soon uh, became well. He recovered from his sickness. Now, so Prince Nabeshima is now recovered, and she's well. Uh, he is well. Well, one day, Ito Soda said, there is something wrong with that woman, Otoyo. He said, I don't think he, I don't think this woman is really a woman, human woman. There is something wrong with that woman. He said, I want to kill her. He said, he said to his supervisor, okay, a top ranking samurai. And so, Okay, so this is Otoyo's house, okay? Remember Otoyo's house? The real Otoyo is buried under the, under the house, okay, under the ground. Now, Ito Soda came and knocked on the door. Otoyo said, who is it? And so he said, I brought a message from Prince Nabeshima, he said to Otoyo. Otoyo said, 
What is it? she said, and she opened the door. When she opened the door, Ito Soda took up, you know, took out the, uh, um, he pretended, he acted like he was, uh, uh, take, he was going to pull out a letter from Prince Nabeshima, but he instead took out his sword. He took out his sword um, and he was going to kill her. Okay. Then she quickly went back to the back of her room and she took a halberd. Okay. She took a halberd. Halberd is like something like that. It's a long one. She took a halberd and she began to fight, uh, fight with a uh, ito soda. Now, bing, 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 blow after blow. He wanted to kill her, but it was very difficult because this woman was very strong. She was very good at fighting. But soon she thought, maybe I may not win. Maybe it's better to just escape. So she dropped the, the uh, halberd, the weapon, we weapon, okay? something to fight with. She, she dropped her weapon, halberd, and then she finally changed into a cat, and then she jumped up on the roof and ran away into the mountains. Well, a few months later, Prince Nabeshima uh, had the people go hunting into the mountains, and there this uh, wild cat or foul beast was killed. And so nothing bad uh, never happened to Prince Nabeshima afterwards, but Ito Soda was very much praised by Prince Nabeshima, and Ito Soda was a low-ranking soldier in the infantry, but he became promoted and he received a great honor and reward, and he lived very happily afterwards. The end.